Evening! How's it going? What's up? Is this thing working? Can you hear me? Hello. Hi. What's up? Привет. Как дела? Меня зовут Джунби. Yeah, that's all I know how to say in Russian. Let's put some tunes on. Not that one. Let's put that one on. Let's go and hide out. Yes, yes. XD Plackies in a place. Hello, Jill. Oh, I got your Christmas present today. Thank you, Jill. That's so cool. The headphone stand. <laughs> Ironically, for my broken headphones. <laughs> um, yeah, that's so cool. Uh, the lovely Star Trek headphone stand and the uh, Star Trek badge. That's really thoughtful. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Um, yes. So, hello, uh, Bally Booth as well. Um, Gabriel Alcantar, Zig Midge. So, uh, I'm playing solo tonight, which I haven't done on stream for a long time. Um, it's going to be interesting. Um, I'm really... What, I, I have worried that when I've been doing duos on stream lately, I, I, I miss a lot in the chat. So, uh, maybe I'll play a bit slower and I'll check the chat more, and, and as I should. So, that's the aim. Hello to uh, Ebak Larius, uh, who's from St. Petersburg. Yes, how you doing? It's been a while since I've been there. Lovely place. Um, so, uh, I'm playing Escape from Tarkov tonight. Uh, I am really close to level 15, which I'm desperate, desperate to get to. Um, it's a really big milestone because it unlocks the flea market and I'll get... Um, therapist level two i think um so and i've it's gonna be amazing because i've got scav boxes full of stuff that i can then sell um looking at my tasks i've got so close twice on my own this afternoon um doing this one farming where you have to go to uh customs and get this uh package from the director's thing i'm wondering about doing that because i must if i get that yeah. We'll have one go on. No. I'm going to go to woods first because I've got to kill scavs with no armor on. So if I die, I'm not losing that much. So I'm not taking too much stuff in. So um, we're going to do that first. Because um, if I even if I just have like one successful run where I manage to extract um, that will get me a little bit closer to the level 15 that I really need. Um, so we'll see. Oh, God. Packed lobbies terrify me. Hello, Melso Niasty. I've had an all right day. I've had a few sad... I've been playing a little bit during the day, but also been working. Um, hello, Azzy, by the way. Big shout out to Azzy. Um, let me do that again. I played off uh, as he was well as he streams all day every day, um, but I wasn't streaming yesterday. But um, I played most of the day with Azzy, and uh, he carried me through so many quests. It was unbelievable. Um, let's do this. How do I do a shout out? Here we go. Oh, hang on. There we go. Did it do it? Is it doing it? Come on, stream labs. Come on, stream on. It didn't do it. Ah, that's... <laughs> I'm such a mod noob. I put the exclamation mark afterwards. What a genius. There you go. Yeah, as you really helped me out. And it was great fun as well. Um, thanks, chill. <laughs> got loads done. Got through loads of quests that would have taken me ages otherwise. Um, so thank you very much for that, mate. Really do appreciate it. Um, I... Uh, after the ones that we did yesterday, there were quite a few quests that are like handing stuff in, like the farming ones where I had almost all of the things. Um, what am I missing? I need broken G phone. I need a found in raid broken G phone or two of them. And then that'll be it. Right, we're loading in. Okay, this is where I put my concentrating face on. So um, I'm going to uh, concentrate and try not to die. So we've got to kill five scavs without armor on for this Welcome quest. Oh, Jill, thank you for the gifted sub going to Azzy. Thank you, Jill. 
Right. Uh, where am I? I have no idea. Am I down out skirts? Where are the landmines? This looks like outskirts to me. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to run along the edge. I'm going to loot Dead Man Shack. Welcome to the left crew. Hello. If I can get there. I think there might be another spawn down there, but... Gooda! Thanks for the 12 months, mate! I'm on a quest to kill scavs without wearing any armour and mitigate any losses by looting stuff. So my plan is to go to Dead Man's Shack here, not run on any landmines, and after that I'll go to Attachment Shack and maybe there'll be a scav there that I can get. Oops. Don't run through the bushes, people hear you, John. <laughs> Everyone's first words on wizard. Where am I? I'm by a tree. Oh god, I was close. Right, so in this cave here, there's always a dead scav who has if you do the dead scav that's always there, they have treasure on them. Or can have treasure on them. Like quite good high value stuff, so. I always try to check this guy. And there's a bag as well, so with any luck, I'll get enough stuff that means if I die. Oh great, he's got nothing on him. <laughs> John AEX, thank you. Gold chain, 25k. Emilea, I would have loved that uh, previously, but right. Thank you, John AX. Thank you for the sub. Thanks for the prime. Hype train as well. What? Oh shit. I haven't got a hype train anything to play on my Tarkov streams. I'll just every now and then I'll go, hi train. Oh shit. Okay, that was a sniper rifle going off. Right, over there, that's Lumber Mill. There's a silenced ish gun over there. I'm gonna that's dodgy. I'm gonna go to attachment shack now. Thank you for the 200, Jill. Maybe I should just wait here. Everything sounds louder because I've got these headphones on. So it might sound like they're close, but I don't think they are. Right. Over here, there might be scabs. So... Got to keep our eyes stay frosty here. Oh, that's a pistol a bit close. That was the sound alerts one. Who was that? Emperor, how you doing? A uh, couple of hours minimum. I just started. That might rustle them out a bit. There's a pistol guy somewhere, so. Now he knows I'm here, which is really smart. Let's loot this. Break, don't die while well, my head's poked out the window. Ah. ah, a nice helmet, but I can't wear any armour when I'm doing this quest, so. Ooh, no scope milk. Quick, take all the stuff, John. Put the good stuff in your bum. Oh my god, there's loads of good stuff here. Condensed milk goes in there. What's worth the most? Is that a good SV break? No. Well, uh, Welcome to the uh, Hello. Take the MLA out. I'll put that site in there. That looks expensive. And I'll take that out and I'll put that in. And... Welcome to the oh my god, there's loads of subs coming in. Jill, five gifted! Thank you, Mel. Thank you for the 100 bits. I'm in the middle of a... Well, no one's shooting at me yet, but... I'm expecting it. So welcome to the loft. Oh, it keeps on doing the sounds. <laughs> Jill, thank you so much for the five gifted. And the 200. Thank you. Welcome to the loft. Right. Hello. I still hear lots of shooting, and there was a pistol man. I haven't heard any scav saying anything. I might just sit here for a minute and talk to you and let everyone do their thing and get out of the way. <laughs> it 
So, that's all right. So, condensed milk's 15. I've got some good shit here. This is a really good helmet, but if I put it on and kill a scav, it won't count towards the quest I'm trying to do. So, uh, let's hotkey these. So, okay, that's cool. Sounds quiet out there. Sounds like it's fighting at Lumber Mill, really. So maybe if I rotate back around the Z... What are my extracts? Vehicle extract? That's far. I'm never going to get that far. Let's just try and get through Lumber Mill. At least anyone remaining is probably a bit injured. Ah! If someone was to give 100 sounds, yes, it would be completely non-stop until I turned it off. Right, run when you're out in the open. God, grenades going off. Helmet should work with the quest. I guess we can try. Well, the thing is, if I wear the helmet, people might not take pity on me. And if they're accurate enough to hit me in the head, I'll probably die anyway. And if someone doesn't shoot me, I can give them the helmet as a present to win their trust. I think that's my plan. Hello. I'm using voice over IP now as well. That's the smart play, Gooder. But I'm just worried about dying. And then I'll lose the armour. So I'm just like, kind of... It's a bit like a pistol run, I suppose. Right, I'm going to look at the tent here. But I think it's probably been done. Oh no, there's some oats there. Oh, a D battery. Beautiful. Ah, I need a green tea for something. Four of them gets you one of these guns, I think. Or something like that. You need four of them for something somewhere. Okay. I'm still creeping. I kind of want to just get past... I heard one sniper shot around here, so I don't know if someone's being a snipey. God, the hype train's still going. This is amazing. Wow. Cheeky bricky, palchy quicky. Hey, Ike. Ike Shizan. Wipe's going really well so far, but that's largely due to a really good day yesterday where Azzy was helping me get through a lot of quests. And Cyborgs also helped me with a whole bunch very early on. Um, I have had some good luck. I found my first gas analyzer this morning, which was amazing. That got me through a quest. But I still need two more. And I found a matches. I found a hunter's matches yesterday, which are really, really rare, too. Um, found that in two-story dorms. Thank you, Skanksy. Thank you for the prime. Right, what do I do here? Shall I just run past, or shall I sneak in there to try and go to the cube thing? Let's try and loot it. Thus exposing myself to anyone. Oh shit, okay. What kind of gun was that? That was a sort of a SKS, maybe? Is that someone being a bit of a sniper? Oh shit. Hey, I'm just going to run and try to get past here. Just hope there isn't anyone. Is that somebody up there? I've already thrown my stun grenade, which is my... Oh. Okay, yeah. Doesn't sound fun there. I'm just going to steer out of the way, and I'll try to go to the... Oh, if I could just extract, actually, that'll... Oh, no. There's steps on my left now. But they're probably quite far away. People are being so mean to me <laughs> lately on here. I had some guy today, I was just trying to get through customs and I was just leaving two-story and he was downstairs and I was like, hello! 
I'm just going. And he was like, hello. And then he shot me in the back. I was like, fuck's sake. <laughs> right. Let's keep walking. You don't make as much noise if you walk rather than run. Then when I get here, I'm going to run. Except I, I need to be killing scavs, so I need to give myself the best chance to get them. There's steps on my right here. someone running. That was a player who took four shots of buckshot. Oh dear, John B's dead. I had to shoot him. Oh, I killed someone. It's a dead John B, but I did get 357 XP out of that raid, even though I died. If you die in Tarkov, you really don't get many... Um much in the way of xp but i got a little bit there <laughs> just in time for the r.i.p what's up party time hey 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 yeah it's tarkov stream today not music but um i'll play a bit of music in the background there we go um so i still got out with some stuff there that i'm just going to sell to vendors immediately and see how that goes so what are we on now 2110 i don't think what is the, i don't even know what this Schmidt and Bender. I've sold one of them already. I remember looking up if I needed it. For a gunsmith. 28,000 plus 5 plus 4. So that's 37,000. And... Oh, there we go. Yeah, so we made like 75,000 on that. And I don't think I had 75,000's worth of kit. So um, I could take that. Um, let's try... Um, a customs run and I can take a sort of uh, I always go under geared and I shouldn't but it didn't really help that I didn't have any armour on there but that was for the quest um, what's the play what's the play you walk away for two minutes and get killed yeah you're my good luck charm Jill another hundred thank you Jill and Mega Mem, thank you for the follow. Uh, let's do one more of the... Ah, I need to heal. That'll get me some XP. Heal all. Okay. Um, we're going to go and do another one of those in woods. Because uh, it feels... I've got my ZB thingy in there. So let's just quickly load up for that. And um, I'll take the crappiest bag of all. Look at all my terrible bags I keep holding on to. Uh, right, and I'll just buy a crappy bank robber rig. Come on. All right. Um, I'll take a grenade as a surprise if anyone decides to be mean to me. And I want to buy a nice shotgun. I thought I bought one. Of the ah, oh, I oh I traded it. That's what. Let's buy one of these. So they're, they're like. Can you put the scope thingy on it? Probably not. No. Oh, well, that's a shame. Can take eight rounds though, which could have saved me then on that last one. Um. Right. Twenty rounds. Have I healed? I think I just did. Yep. Um, I'll t t take a Welcome here. to the loft crew. Hello. And we probably won't eat anything. I'll try and fuss it. Wow, who is that? Ree Brown. Thank you for the prime. Big up. Big up. Uh, right. Water. Bullets. I've healed myself. Uh, I'll take an extra heal because I will need it because I'm about to run into scavs. And some painkillers as well would be a good idea because I expect to be in pain. Uh, 
Right, so we'll just buy some. I know I've got some somewhere else, but I don't want to hold you all up. Um, good to go, I guess. Oh, what have I got here? Ah. Oh, that's good to know. Okay, cool. Right, let's go. Just got to do my insurance and all that stuff. All right, cool. Remind me to hit reload when I get into the uh, raid. Ooh, what? Uh, did Uli just drop $25? Uli, mate, thank you. I missed that. Thank you, Jill, for pointing that out. I missed that. Thank you, Uli. I didn't know you were here. Big up, mate. Thank you. Really appreciate that. Thank you. Hope you're doing all right, man. I haven't heard from you in a while. Hello, Dave. Thank you for the raid. Hello. How you doing? Were you playing Tarkov? What have you been up to? Let's do. Can, uh, let's do you a shout out. Can I do a shout out? S O. Hello, Dave. There we go. Give our man Dave a follow if you fancy it. Hello, uh, Mosho. How you doing, mate? Good to see you again. Tarkoving and dying. Ah, then. Uh, this will be a, uh, my representation of exactly the same thing. Cyborg's just chilling tonight. I think he was in. He's hovering around in the chat. He's just uh, doing some scav runs on his own and stuff. Optive, mate. Is that the? Aha! Thank you. Yes, glad you brought the game, mate. Tarkov is the best game there is, hands down. Only game I've played for a very long time now. As long as you don't include, like, the odd quick Formula One on the Xbox kind of thing. It's it's not um, actually Optive because the drum and bass artist Optive died, um, so it feels a bit weird talking to you. Um, I guess you like his music too, so um, yeah. So I'm loading in. Oh shit, we're going in. Right, we're going to to Woods. I've got to kill scavs with no armor on. Just five. Um, so I'm just going to be trying to play slowly and carefully. Hopefully I can get a couple of easy ones and at least sort of um, pick up enough stuff. Right, where am I now? Oh, shit. Ah. There's mines there, mines there. I think I'm same sort of place. Just got to watch out for the mines. Yeah. Yeah, there's the car. This is pretty much the same spawn. Hopefully. Ah, reload, reload, John, reload. I don't want to run into anyone, just go click. I don't know if... I think if I spawn where I spawned, there shouldn't be someone else down here. Woods is a very snipey map, though, so I've got to be careful. Well, I've got to be careful all the time in Tarkov, wherever I am. Hey, Dr. Traxu, what's up? Ah, good. Oh, I'm glad you came for a Tarkov stream and found one, too. It gets a bit embarrassing when people come and they think I'm uh, like they've come for my music stuff, which is what people mainly know me for. And I'm playing Tarkov. Like last week, uh, Marky raided me with like 150 people. Um, it was the first time he'd raided me in a long time when I was sitting here playing Tarkov, so everyone just fucked off immediately. I was like, oh no, it's my one chance to impress them all. Tashonka, nice. M62. 
in the bum. Rubles in a wallet. Cigarettes there. I think we'll put the Tashonka in there as well. Um, right. Did I search? I haven't even searched that yet. Great. So the treasure scav had some treasure on him. Come on. Oh, a syringe. Nice. Um, let's put that there. That's the cheapest item. So for those of you that don't play Tarkov much or anything, anything that's in here, when I die, I still keep this. Uh, but it's, it doesn't count as found in raid, so I can't turn it in for quests and things. But I could still sell it to traders or use it in my hideout or use it for whatever I want to use it for. Right. I'm going to run to the attachment shack now, I think. Hopefully I'll be the first one there. Can't hear anything. Again, wonder if that's just a sniper scab. That's the scary sniper rifle. I'd like to just come around the corner and surprise a sniper scav, a scav and just blast him. As long as you survive the raid, it doesn't matter where you've kept it. Um, shit, someone's been here already and they must have got here quick. Hello. <laughs> oh, you bastard. Thanks. not very helpful. I'm trapped. There's a guy out there trying to get me his bolt action kills. Are you fucking blind? Fire! Freeze! It's trying to get an angle on me around the side. Oh, scarf! Ah. Kill two there. But a scab came to our rescue. I killed something. That might have been a scab out there, but he seemed a bit too good and he didn't say any scab words on me. I'm running. I'll check the chat in a minute. Yeah, probably a player hunting me. Definitely now. So I need to. Get out of here. Wait. They'll probably be watching this coastline. But... Then I'll stand on the regen and I'm going to YOLO it. Da 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 da! Quick! Da 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 da! da, da, da. 
Dogs tracksuit, thank you for the tier one. Right. I'm going to try and go to my safe haven up. Have I got any good stuff here? Not really. Right, I'm going to um, try and go to the house that's here. See if I can loot some more stuff. I think I heard steps on wood then. Um, which is probably one of those cabins. Yep. That was a scav. Hello? <laughs> I killed a scav! Thank fuck for that. Woo. God knows what my face must look like here. I'm, I'm, sure. I'm, I'm like. Aah. I need to start looking at my health here as well. That guy who was hunting me is probably going to come. He's, he'll be like the shotgun guy. He hurt me. Getting back. Right, I'll drink this water as well. Maybe that scav's got some good stuff on him. I've got a kill! Go on! Possibly even two. Ah, I can check my quests actually. Let's just let's just stay focused. And uh, I'll loot everything I can in here. Hopefully there's a key in one of these three jackets. Ah, there's an emergency water ration there, nice. That guy, if, assuming the guy that was outside the wooden shack was a player, he was... Ooh, 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 what we got? What do we take out here? Dawn 108? I'm sure it's worth more than him. He's going to be probably coming exactly the way I came, so I should probably get a move on. But, you know, there's stuff to loot, so... <laughs> Nothing. All right, um... Come on, you know me in the filing cabinet. Can't leave it behind. Search the filing cabinet drawer. Alright, enough of that. Should we loot this scaff or do we think someone's probably watching the body? If I take the armor to as a Brucey bonus. Oh, nice rig. Shame if someone was to, to the take it. Hello. Alright, cool. So at least hopefully I'll get back that crappy rig on insurance. What have we got here? Snickers, good. Man needed food. Perfect. Dead scaff is provided. What's going on there? Ten gifted! Yes, mate! War Hose is back! Come on, thank you, thank you. Right, I need to survive here. This is quite... I've got some good stuff. Well, ten gifted! Holy shit, you. thank you, War Hose, man. Thank you. Ah, I'm quite heavy now, but it's because I picked up that armour. Welcome right, to the don't lose your head. Hello. Let's just have a little think. Oh, I've got flechettes here. Welcome Beautiful shit. The They're worth crew. loads. Um, let's take that out and put them in uh, to Shonka. Yeah, flechettes like the best ammo for shotgun. Welcome to the lot. Um, Hello. Take the AFAC out. Now we'll leave them there as backups. Uh, Ebaclarius, thank you so much for the prime, Welcome for the, oh no, just for the sub. Ah, great, that's somebody new. Awesome. Oh, hello, Prophet in the chat. Yes, mate. AP20's better. 
Ah, uh, I haven't even found any AP-22 yet. I'm desperate to get out. I'm doing the quest where you've got to kill scavs without armor on. But... Is it... I don't really need any of this stuff found in raid. But I would like to extract to get the Welcome XP, so should I put the armor on? Hello. Let's put the armor on. My god. Thank you for all those subs. That water's something. How am I doing? Welcome to the loft crew. Hello. Right, let's just try and edge run it here and stay out of trouble. And if I see any loose scavs, I'll give it a go. Hopefully there's nobody camping the little corners. Sometimes there's scavs wandering around up there. It's just difficult to see scavs on this map with all the trees and stuff. Ah, okay. That sounds like sort of... Right. I once got sniped here looking and doing the quest, so they might... I can't see anyone up there. I don't know how you're supposed to see anyone if there was. Coca-Cola. Let's get the Coca-Cola. Okay. Nothing else. Right. Is that extract there? What one is that? R-U-A-F rope. Oh, shit. Okay, right. We could make it here. All right. Say a prayer da, for da, 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 It's going okay. Da, 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 Profit. Da, 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 but as you know, I'm not the greatest. Da, 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 but I'm really close to 15. Da, 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 I played with Azzy a fair bit yesterday. Da, 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 da. Um, and he got me through a load of ones that have taken me forever. Um, but I have died. I've been playing a bit offline today and I've just started streaming Right. Can I make it? Please don't kill me, somebody. That would just cost me so much XP. Come on, this is the extract here. Although this one sometimes isn't open, right? Is this one that needs smoke? Painkiller. Ah, what our host likes Red Sky, wicked mate, yeah. That's one of my most successful tunes, because that's the one that um got sampled by Nicki Minaj. Although it took years and years and years to actually get paid for it and lots of lawyers' fees and things like that, so Ooh, lots of things I can search here, come on. Right, here we go. Please don't shoot me, please don't shoot me. Cease fire! Hold your fire! Please, please don't shoot me. Oh, I could really do with an extract here. This would be amazing. Come on, come on. Yes, come on! Wicked. So uh, it shows you. I'll put the full screen thing on. Put the tune spec on. So it shows you what the end of raid stuff. I, so what the bear? I think. I don't know if that the guy that was stalking me outside felt like a player, but I think if it was a player, he might have responded on VoIP. But sometimes they don't. But yeah. So anyway, I got one scan on that quest. So. Oh, Bobby Boo, thank you for the applause. Yeah, thank, you, thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much, thank you. And another one, Jill, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I'd like to uh, thank uh, Nikita and the scavs that died for me. I'm only 3,000 XP away from 15. Go on, go on. This is good. Right, let's offload this stuff that um, I got. And, uh, oh, don't crash on me. Cool. So, oh, so everything's still... F oh, but getting that flechette out is good, I think. Um, put that there. M62 is nice. I'm just going to chuck it all in things. Hopefully I'll be able to see an end from all these rigs pretty soon. Because I've been saving up money. Um, so once I get the flea, I should be able to buy containers as long as they're not 
crazy expenses. I'll keep that water with me for the next raid. Dorm 108 key, I'm going to chuck down here until I've audited all my keys. Oat flakes, I'll just put somewhere. I'll, I think you can craft some food out of them that's a bit better. Uh, URX stop, no idea what that is. Tashonka found in raid, I know I need them. I probably haven't got enough. Tarcolas I'm saving to do a holodnik. Keep them. Shmasko, I've already got one for the quest you need to save it for. Glasses, thingy, thingy. Uh, I'll sell the Tarzan. And I'll probably I'll save that and we can use that for a, a crappy run in a bit. And we'll move this out. So I'll quickly sell these things to to traders what's up ones andres hello turntable freedom as well um right 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 so we're at ragman so we sell the things you can wear because she sells the rags that's how i remember it uh there we go should we sell that anyway let's just get the space on it all right that shotgun was probably too low durability yeah uh, but i can sell that does that look a Chris Vector modular rail? That looks like it might be pricey, so I'll hang on to that in case I can sell it on the flea to a Vector enjoyer. Um, I will disassemble the shotgun and sell the parts to mechanic because you get slightly more money if you do that. And then the actual gun bit is the only bit that he won't buy, so sell that to fence the epic min maxing there all for the sake of a few extra rubles uh heal i don't need to heal i should drink and oh you can't see behind there but i need to eat and drink so uh where's my food and drink bit of that um i should take some more ammo in for this round uh, and I need, I'll claim back from the insurance that rig. Um, that goes there. Cool. And I'm just going to run to the bathroom. I'll be back in a second. Gretchen in Berlin. Yes, mate. Oh, man, I love Gretchen. I'll be back in a second. I'm just going for a quick wee. Right, right, right. I'm back. I'm back. My wife says hello. <laughs> we only have one bathroom. And uh, she's having a nice, calm, romantic bath on her own. But I had, to, I just ran in and had a wee. <laughs> um, which... Um, hmm. So, yes. <laughs> Max says hi. And what are you doing? Uh, right, I think we'll go and do the same again. Because that was good fun. And I... It, if we spawn in the kind of other area of woods, it'll help me learn my stash runs. Um, I should eat something. I'll take that in and eat it. Let's be in for a little bit. Right, have I got everything? I've healed. I've got bullets. I've got a helmet. I've got stuff to carry. I've got the key in case you want to go out that way. I should take a cheese meds as well, just in case someone troubles me. Oh, whatever. You get out of there. Cool. Right. Let's go. 
Oh, I should do a scav run. Let's do a scav run. No, let's do a PMC run. Let's do a PMC run to try and get some actual progression. Um... Right, we're loading in. Cool. Do you play Tarkov? What are hose? I did wash my hands, yes. <laughs> Jay did. <laughs> I feel like I should turn off the um, this chatbot things that come on when I'm when I'm gaming because they eat up quite a lot of the text and then it makes it harder for me to um, like I, I I miss things if I if I didn't see them the first time around. Uh, did we get a shout out to Profit earlier on? By the way, I don't think we did. Okay, we need a shout out to the Profit. Let me let me uh, do that. Ah. Did it do it? It didn't do it. Oh, it's because I wrote FML. <laughs> Fuck my life. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, FMJ. There you go. Oh, you play World of Warcraft. Okay. I've, I have not got a, the foggiest idea how to play Warcraft or what it's all about. I, whenever I see people streaming that, I'm like, what's going on? It's just like lots of people running around and things going and I I, I don't get it. Same with New World. Like, is that the same sort of thing? Um, Warzone, I can relate to more because that's first person. Um, and I, I came to Tarkov from like Battlefield and Call of Duty on the Xbox. And... Um, I saw, I, I used to watch like, well I still do, but uh, I used to watch Stodare a lot for the Battlefield hints and tips and things. Um, and I think he did a collab stream where someone was showing him Tarkov and I was like, this looks good. You can play slowly and peacefully and it looks calm. <laughs> uh, and how wrong was I? Um, but yeah, and then I, I, so I kind of, my PC wasn't capable of playing it at all, but I thought it was, um, looked really good and then started watching more streams and upgraded my PC a little bit so I could play it kind of well and then realized I loved Tarkov and uh, learned about PCs and upgrading PCs um, and um, now I can sort of I can die in high resolution and feel the pain of death in a more realistic fashion <laughs> right we're going in so hopefully we have uh, i'm going to move my little map on my second screen so i can see better hopefully we have a spawn that i know where i am uh which always helps right i'm in the woods that's a blue thing ah is that scav extract i'm going to run over there because this oh, or am i or am i was hopefully that way is kind of south. That's someone running over a mine. What's my extract? Probably outskirts. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go along here. Probably shouldn't run, and it would really help if I knew where the stashes were. Uh, oh, shit. When I'm by... Right, so that scav bridge... So scav bunker might be up here, I think. Oh, please don't go over mines, I can't take the stress. Ah, this is scav bunker, where scavs are sometimes, so... Crouch or lie when looting. Oh shit. It's a scav. One down. That was a scav. He made a scav dying sound. 
Hopefully he hasn't got any buddies. Oh, he's got a scav backpack. Nice, nice, nice. Quick, John. Quick, John. Quick. Just drop that. Trading up. Might as well take that. Okay. Uh, vodka. Let's take the vodka. Stick the vodka up my bum. End up in A&E on Christmas Day. Uh, now I've lost my bearings for which way was south. Anyway, I'm worried people are going to come here looking for me now after they heard the shot, but equally, I'm greedy for loot. So we'll have a look. Hello, Dave Schickman. Uh, okay, nuts are useful, and so is that. Oh, good luck on the quest, Gabriel. Nuts, nice. Tea plug. I was hunting for them so much uh, today, actually, for the quest for mechanic. Sprats, great. I can eat those sprats. Let's eat this. Oh no. Oh, I heard someone outside. Then. Hopefully, that's just another scav spawned in. Chainlet down there. They're not really worth much at all. like 5k on the flea from what I can remember hot rods I need them for um, the holodink, holodink trade so I'm just listening out because I can hear stuff outside now right I need to be going south so I need to come out of here and go right, basically. Can I share my hair routine? Uh, when I'm out of raid, I will. Although it's pretty, pretty simple. I just dry it and straighten it and put some sort of clay stuff in. There you go. I just shared it. Huh? I try and answer them. Right, there's somebody out here looking for me, I know. Okay, I'm running, I'm running. Please don't be mine, sir. 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 Ah, good. That's a convoy thing. Right. Is that the road? Is that sort of south ish? Yes. So if I follow that road, it's going to be nice. Have I got the best things in my bum? Probably take the bulb and them out and put the vodka in and hotkey them in case of disaster yeah right we'll probably not look at the uh, roadblock in case someone's got eyes on the only things I desperately need right now are gas analyzers so tempting there. Bracing for a sniper shot in the head. Please don't kill me. Come on, a survival lighter there worth. Uh, let's take that out. Put that in. Nuts. More nuts. Uh, I'll take them. Oh shit! Okay, that's on my right. Ooh. 
I heard someone going like, ow. Whoever he was shooting at was close to me and got hit then. Right, I need to regain some stuff. Oh no, is this you set cap? There's mines around here, I think. Am I going the right way or did I panic? That's the big sniper rock, right? Yeah, Fritter, you're right. I found my first gas analyzer this morning. I nearly shit my pants. It was amazing. In uh, in uh, interchange on the shelves in um, uh, what you call it, the power station place on a scav run too. Ah, okay, cool. So that's the sunken village. So yeah, we sort of keep going this way. Is it called sunken village? That one, the wooden shacks ones. I thought I had something on my left. I was going to keep running and pray I don't run into the mines. Oh, a Jaeger house. Maybe there'll be something hidden. Oh, a toolbox. Don't mind if I do. More nuts. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to be the nut man. Right, which way is south? Ooh, okay. I would just like to extract and get an easy scav kill on the way out, please. Can that be arranged? They just added a craft for gas analyzer, really? What, literally today? I haven't Is it workbench two? Probably workbench two, isn't it? Which I don't have yet. I'm not going to get that till level 20. I run loads of scavs, so um, I'm hoping I'll come across them eventually. I hope if I stay on the path there won't be landmines here. I don't recognise that rock. Ah, big road though. Pylons, big road. That's good. Pylons go down to outskirts way. Ah, okay, yep. Yeah. Ah, so what's... I'm tempted to go that way, but this is more familiar territory. So is that south? That's south. That's southwest. Yes. Okay. Yeah, this is where I've got to go. To get down towards ZB14. Think. Oh, I was going to say I think I know where I am, but I'm not sure I do now. Is it the other way I've got to go? I think it's this way. This way. Hello, old gangster sixty nine. What's up? So this is sort of southwesty ish. This looks like there should be a stash here.
Am I going the right way? I'm trying to get in the direction of outskirts and ZB14, Scav House. It feels right, but it doesn't look familiar enough. Normally I follow a road with... Um, I think I'm going up sort of If I knew where stashes were it wouldn't matter so much if I was a bit lost because I could but and I don't really feel like bumbling around looking for stuff in the open and don't know. Ah, I think that might be the road I was trying to get to. This could be it, yeah. I usually follow the power lines. Turn right. Yeah, I think... Let's see what my compass says now. Am I just going east to west? Okay. Still kind of up north. Ah, yeah, yeah, this is looking... Yeah, 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 okay, I think I know where I am now, yeah. We're on the road I wanted to be on, which comes down the back of ZB14, basically. And there's a stash by one of these pylons, isn't there? Philadelphia. Hello. Philadelphia Collins Gut. Thank you for the prime. Uh, man, I'm so exposed here. I have to make sure I don't go too far along here because I died to the special. Um, Sniper. This <laughs> is like a no man's land area. Stash is here. Yes. Great. Good. This is one of the few ones I know of from there onwards. Oh no, now I'm going to have a difficult decision of what to pick up. Meds. Nice. Uh, I only really need the meds. Question is, I think at this stage, they're more useful to me than the survival lighter. Uh, no, ah, no, I think I need a survival lighter for something in hideout, possibly. Um, that looks shit. What's that? Something for a Glock? Yeah, that's pointless. Okay. So we're going to run down here. Have I got CB14 as an extract? Yes, if it's up. If not, we'll try to get to outskirts. And if I don't encounter any scavs... Oh, shit. Oh, damn it! Ah! That guy came straight for me. Oh, that is <laughs> I'm going to mark him as sus because I wasn't making any noise. I didn't fire my gun there. And he was making a B lock. I accept he was probably coming for the stash, actually. So, no, I'm not. Um. Oh, I got one scav then, though. Okay, so that's cool. So we did chip away at the task a bit more. Uh, all right. Cool, cool, cool. PS. Oh, we had an SKS. All right. Cool. Right. I need a little sip of water here. I need a bit of hydration. Jill, thanks for the 100. Yeah, I was... My f my first vibe there was like he was coming straight for me and knew where it was going to be, but he was running straight for the stash. With he was running low gear, just an SKS, which is sort of pistol run alternative. So um, I think he just ran into me and was a lot better than I was. <laughs> it's good though; still got some nuts there. The hot rod will be useful for um, that thing. 
so where are we doing on uh, 2,300 left? Do we keep chipping away on woods? I'm not losing loads of gear when I die here. Let's do it. Let's do a customs and see if I can get that graphics card quest done. Because at least I can wear armor then, which means I won't die instantly when I run into dudes like that again. Um, so let's quickly put a kit together. Um, I've just been buying the crappiest headsets because I quite like these because they're cheap and they're loud, like you seem to hear very well all around you um you're the same level as me dennis yes it's the graphics card package that's the one i gotta do um i'll take a crap bag and i haven't really got any shit rigs i just keep using them and then losing them so i'll buy another one off ragman Okay, um, what gun shot? God, customs in the evening is just going to be bloodthirsty murderers. Um, if I come up against scavs, probably from a distance, I want something... If I take this... Hmm, hmm, hmm. One of my many MP5s. I can afford to lose one of them, I suppose. Is this the one that's got some AP in it? No. Um, have I got any AP left? No. I've only got Quake Maker. Put some Quake Maker in it? Is Quake Maker expensive? I wonder if I should hang on to that. Let's just buy some PST. Old Faithful. Um, Servers are very slow for me on, on this sort of thing uh, today. Aim for the legs with Quake Maker. Yeah, same as Rip, right? Um, pretty young to be playing Tarkov, whatever. I'm too old to be playing any video games, so I know it. But it's one of the closest things in the world that uh, is close to making me happy. So um, that's why I do it. Um, right, I mustn't forget the director's key. I mustn't f forget to heal, which will give me a bit of XP as well. Um, I need to take another cheese with me, and a heavy bleed, and a broken leg splint. All right, we've got some spare bullets, one spare mag. I'll take a sort of extra backup of crap there. Um, and that's it really, isn't it? Um, grenade, go on, I'll take a grenade, even though it's early wipe and every grenade is super valuable. Um, let's see. I'll take an RDGD5 in case... I'll, I'll save it as a, a present in case someone's mean to me, like... They pretend to be my friend on on VoIP and then betray me. And they'll be like, hey, I brought you a present. That never happens. They usually just kill me before I get the chance. Because they're betrayers. Right. Wallet with money to leave in the car if it's up. Stuff. We've got the key. The mission is to get the key. Thank you, old gangster. Here you go. Here's another one. Look at that. Um, ah, food and drink, John. Food and drink. There we go. What can I eat? Uh, right. We're going. Wish me luck. I still haven't done a scav. Um... Oh, it's nice that things are cheap to insure, though, at this uh, stage for me. Right. Here we go.
the amount of scenes I have is insane. It is, yes. Uh, it's the result of a deep dive into OBS and what can be done. And um, in a way, like I mean, I wish COVID and everything was over now, but it it's helped force me to learn a lot of things that were things I needed to learn anyway. Um, the way I operate like as a one man band, I don't have teams to do all my video editing and photoshopping and all that kind of stuff that you need as a DJ. Um, so I've, I've learned everything that I need to do on Photoshop. I've learned Final Cut X inside out to the point where I feel like I could do, I, you know, I feel like an expert almost. Um, so all of these visuals and, and, and learned OBS reasonably well too, which is the program you use for the, the, um, the streaming. Uh, the downer on my Tarkov streams is the computer that's the stream computer here is, my, is a Mac. It's uh, the way I work with my computers and everything. When I, when I buy a new computer, it's, it's the one that should be the most powerful one in the house for running the music stuff in the studio in the studio behind me um, and historically usually what happens is the machine that was previously the studio computer gets bumped down the chain and i use it for something else um, and this computer that i'm streaming from is like it's a 2012 mac pro tower which is old as fuck um, but it's managing what I'm asking of it here on, on the Tarkov thing, but OBS runs a lot less optimised on Mac versus PC, so at some point, if I can afford it or my credit card's got enough space on it, um, I'll get myself a PC to replace this for this purpose. And then I think, um, right, where am I? Here. Uh, hang on, I've lost my bearings. Holy fuck. Here, right. Ah, shit, I'm where I need to be. Great. Okay, this is where I really need to not run into um, bad guys. I might just go in here and loot some stuff in case the people that are over there are also mean. Right. What would be amazing is if I void them and then I'm like, please can you help me? Splint meds, good. We're up. Broken G phone would be nice. Unfortunately, I don't need scav kills on this map, but any XP is good XP. I've got a million of those things. It's probably worth a bit more than that. Let's hotkey that. Right, I'm just going to run to the office now. Hello, anyone in here? I'm gonna I'm gonna start trying that cool as you like. I almost did this quest this afternoon and then there were two scavs waiting for me and I just messed it up and died. And my extract was right here too. I'm going to shut the door behind me in case someone sees it and thinks. I need some wires for the hideout, so that would be something good to find here. CPU fans, they're stonks. OMG, wow, stonks. That's some big stonks. Oh yeah, look at that loot. We're going to be rich. Praise Nikita. Stonks. Stonks. GG. Cheeky breaky. I'm off to go buy me something nice and shiny with all these rubles we be getting with these big stonks today. Well done John B. Stonks. Alright. Okay, as soon as I open this, everyone's going to know I'm here. So the plan is probably... Oh shit. heard steps out there so
I did not know gunpowder spawned there. Hopefully that was scavs just spawning in. And not someone who's now going to wait for me. Right, let's just have a sip of water. <laughs> this is going to get... Going to get Larry. I farm interchange, um, Emperor. Yeah, went as on my scav runs, big time. Nighttime interchange scav runs. Right, this is where I need to take care. So what's the plan? We're... I heard shooting to my right, which is in customs. So maybe that's a guy wandering around there and he's killed the wandering scav. Uh, I think I'm going to try and cross dorm side and hope and pray for the vehicle extract. Okay, yeah, that's the... Hello, anybody out there? I'm going to go back out the way I came, hopefully. Ah, shots in construction. Ah, there's a... Hmm. Do I get out of here? If someone else spawned in the customs bit, they're probably... Right, I'm going to run. Please no super accurate scabs. Oh, and of course, Hunter's matches I'm desperate for, like everyone else in Tarkov. plan is to hope that vehicle extracts open. And hope that the other guys that spawned on this side crossed the other side of the bridge. Oh yeah, I agree. Hello, Dave. Although quite often I find just staying put around the spawn for a little while at the beginning of a raid helps me, gives everyone else a chance to go away. I think I can hear someone else. Hello? This is a risky bridge, I'm not sure if it's a good idea. But you're less exposed to scavs when you pop out at the other end. Ah, yes, good point. Um, Aikishan. Aikishan. Aikishan, yes. Very good point. I'm glad they've gone down. People have realised that the the fee on them was was crazy, so there's no point in having it for like 200. If I ever get to the flea, do a bunny hop, do a bunny hop. Then people will think I'm good and they won't shoot me. That was an inertia bunny hop. <laughs> chill, dude. Chill, ah! chill, chill, hello, chill, hello. chill, chill, hello, hello, chill. Hello, oh. I'm just here to do my quest. I cool man, wicked. Shoot. Good stuff, have a nice day. Me too, I've got the graphics thingy, I need to get out the quest. Oh, yeah. Thank you for sparing get my life, out, mate. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Bye. Bye! Hold your fire! Oof! Okay, I could have been very dead then. Luckily he got there just a bit. Oh, they're right it. Fuck me! He's probably going to wait and, like, get me as I'm running off. What quest was he trying to do there then? He was lying down. He must be doing shooter board in heaven, in which case he'll get me if he gets a chance. <laughs> the car's there. Come on, please, please. 
Please don't kill me. Ah! Uh, no one knows I'm here. Okay. Is the door open? It is. Please don't kill me, I need to extract with my quest item. Cease fire! Twenty seconds. I'm about yeah, stealthy as a herd of antelopes. Please, 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 seven. Come on, come on, come on. Please don't headshot me, dude. Please. <laughs> Beautiful. And here is the special moment. We turn it in. By the way, before I do this, I think we owe a, a great debt of thanks to the man by the river there for sparing our life. Because I think he either he wouldn't have spared our life if he if he'd got himself in position a little bit earlier. We'd have been right dead. But um, he didn't kill us because uh, well he he had a, a bolt action. But um, if yeah, he spared our life. And, uh, Whoever you were, mystical man by the river. Thank you. Turning it in. Farming part three. Boom! Bow, 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 bow. Yes. All right. So what's happened here? Farming part four. This is the find the graphics cards one. I'll hand one of them in. Or shall I wait? I think that might be one of those things that gets a bit bugged, right? Two CPU fans. I need to find six more. Okay. Jiggy briggy. Born in heaven. Oh god, I've never even got one of these kills. Jill, thank you for the uh, the hundred bits. Oh, that was ages ago. It's only just showed up. Thank you, Jill, for the two hundred bits there for playing the applause. And Bally Booth, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks for the applause sounds there. Oh, I'm glad you saw that. That was a, a nice bit of success for once. And it was nice to do a difficult quest all on my own as as well. Like, I'm lucky to have some very good friends who help me 
on Tarkov doing some difficult quests and stuff. And um, it's great to make the progress, but um, when I've done something on my own, I, I feel, even though I was still with an element of luck there. Um, yes, great, so we're level 15. Hello, Exile DNB, how you doing, mate? Still bashing out your tunes, assuming that's the Exile DNB and not someone who just likes your music and uh, is using the name. Either way, it's cool, whoever you are. But uh, if it's the genuine Exile, yes, mate, big up. Good to see you here. Uh, I'm doing gaming tonight, Tuesday nights. I um, I play Escape from Tarkov, um, which is this game, which is the best game ever. Um, right, so I have to offload the stuff before I get all over excited here. All the things I picked up. Um, keep them in there for whatever we do next. And now we have the flea, so I can do whatever I like. Oh my god. Oh, also, therapist level two now. So I can buy a docs case if I get those things. Oh, oh, let's have a look at the flea market. What is there out there? Oh, oh, you have to like search for things. Uh, what do I want? Let's have a look at the cases. Uh, an ammo case. Let's buy a... I've unlocked the key. Unlocked the flea, even. Uh, ammo case. So what do, what, do we, what do we reckon an ammo case costs? You can get two green gunpowders and two thermites for a trade. Early wipe, they're probably more than usual. Two un they're probably above 200,000. Let's guess that ammo case is like 250. There you go. I was close. I was close. So they're unlocked with mechanic when you get mechanic two. All right. So I hope you don't mind me doing a bit of stash management here. Um, it's I find it very cathartic. So hopefully you will too. Good thing is I've been amassing quite a lot of rubles lately because um, just desperately trying to get here. So I'm going to buy an ammo case. Oh, it's so good to have the flea back. Yeah, boy. Oh, they've already gone up in the time there. I should have snapped that one up. Two, three, nine. Okay, let's just buy this one. Oh, no, it's already gone. Okay, how about this one? Come on. Yes. Okay, cool. Right, so this is where I start trying to get my stash back to sort of what it was like. Um, at the end of the wipe. I think it will take a while. Because it costs a lot to get all the uh, cases. So, this ammo box that I already had is full. This one's got lots of room. So, I'm just going to go through all of these. And see if we had any loose ammo knocking around. And then I can start... Uh, we've got lots of shotgun ammo, which is good. Because shotguns are uh, pretty cheap to run. Ah, oh, good. And I can start selling off some of these attachments and things that I've been saving. Oh, yeah, boy. Okay, nice. Oh, and you know what? I think I get Jaeger. Hang on. Don't get overexcited, John, here. Just do what you're doing here. Sort out the bullets. Sort out the bullets. Sort out the bullets. Okay, I don't know if we've got any more random bullets left. Um, which is good. A mag box would be nice. Let's just have a look and see if we've got Jaeger. Another hype train! What's up? And Miss Jackalope, thank you for the 100 there. And another 200 from Jill. Another hype train, come on. Thank you. Hi, Trey. Uh, so we've got... Oh, we haven't got Jaeger level 2. Ah, because I have to buy lots of stuff off him. All right, so... Let's see how much a uh, mag um, case is... Cases. Case. Key card holders are 288. Injector cases, they're expensive. Grenade case, I would like, but it's not holding me up too much. A mag case. It's quite expensive, but one of them would be useful for now, so I'm just going to buy it even though it's expensive. Cool. Um, move that there. Uh, mag box can go here. Right, so now I'm going to chuck all these random mags in there. I think there were loads in this. Oh, this is nice. We're going to start getting a bit of quality of life coming through soon, I hope. Uh, okay, if 
Toss empty now. Where's the rest? Ah, there were more, more bullets in there. Oh, this is so satisfying. Oh, and I can start selling my expensive things as well. Oh, beautiful. Um, ah, and I can buy the hunter's matches. Come on. I'll do a scav run after this so we can have a bit of fun. Have I done all my mags? Was that? No, nah, sure. Oh, I know. I've got my one that's got all the MP5 mags in. It's a bit higher up yet. Okay. Um, so those can all go in there too. Oh, this is going to be amazing. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, cool. Shall... Should we do another to a scav run to get some? No, let's buy those matches. Um, hey, BLP, it's going really good now because I just. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm going to buy these. Oh, God. 85,000 for matches. Are you mad? Target price for them at last wipe was under 10 when I was buying loads of them for the stonks for the grenade case. Um thing okay cool i've got one so now i can go to my hideout oh great and i can do the hideout things where i was limited by items only now oh yes come on uh so that was heating not rest space heating i just needed that so i've got that now i've already got those because i was saving them because i knew it get in there heating level two will be up so, rest space, what's that limited by? Generator, I know I can do now by just buying a relay and a wire. So, let's do that. Oh, yes! Come on. A bundle of wire. I just want one. I just want one. I just want one. That's the sound I sampled that's one of the hi-hat sounds in the beginning of... Uh, the lighthouse song, uh, and I need a relay. How much do we reckon relays are? 25. Whoop! Nice. That's good. They haven't gone mad inflated. Someone bought the matches for 500,000 yesterday. Oh my god. I found one yesterday. Um, in two story dorms, or in room 207, I think, on like a bedside table. So that's a confirmed spawn for me. Uh, yeah, I don't need to worry. Let's do that. I'm glad I've got the flea just after that because I know I would have paid 500,000 for the bloody matches. Wicked. Cool. So, generator two's in. Um, let me consult my spreadsheet. <laughs> uh, vent three, I think I can do with just stuff that I need to buy, if I am correct. Yes, um, but there's quite a lot of things there. Let's see how much car batteries are. Okay, I can probably do that. Wires are sort of... They're a bit expensive, but I can craft them. They're not too bad. I'm not in a huge rush because I don't think anything else is... Ah, can I do... Oh, no, Workbench 2 is limited by... Uh... Oh, 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 I just saw a gas analyzer craft. Yes! Oh, beautiful. Come on. 17 hours. I don't care. I don't care. Oh, God. Ah, so Geiger Mullers have gone up as a result. Right. All the rest of that shit's going to go up, probably. I only need two of them, so... Excuse me while I panic. Have I got enough? Yes. No? One more. Oh, that's amazing. I have to turn on the generator. Right, breathe a sigh of relief now. Let me have a, a minute here. Thank you, Jill, for the 200 bits then, while I was panicking. Thank you for kicking off the hype train. I appreciate it. It's a bit harder going when I'm playing Tarkov to 
get the successes we do on the music streams, unfortunately, but it's all good. I'm glad you're all here hanging out. Ah, Intelligence Center. I can get that going. Okay, how much do you reckon intelligence is? 500,000? No. All right, I'll have one. I don't mind if I do. And that's just off therapist. Oh, beautiful. I can get Intelligence Center one up because that cools down the scav cooldown timer. Oh, this is huge. Okay, so the rest of this is only limited by me getting to Mechanic 2, which is level 20. Uh, Lavatory 3, I think that's limited by Water Collector 2, which is limited by Jaeger 2, which I... Ah, that, so it's still essentially limited by Mechanic 2 because of the Workbench 2. So I don't need to rush on that one nutrition unit three is limited yeah okay i think we've done everything med station i might be able to do yes okay the question is here now um do i need to get any of these medical tools found in raid for anything i'm going to google that now um just to check because the only ones i've got are found in raid uh, so let's pull up the wiki real quick. Um, what are they called? Bundle of Med Tools. Uh, pile of Meds. What are they called again? Medical Tools. Medical tools. Three needs to be obtained for med station two. And you need them to make a medicine case as well. Uh, no, I don't need them found in raid for anything. So cool. Okay, so I can do this, which I might as well. Um, I think I need found in raid blood sets. Do I? Hang on, I'm going to check this as well. I'm just trying to be careful. So I don't suddenly use up my found in raid things that might be quite rare. Uh, blood set Tarkov. Three need to be found in raid for the questing vitamins part two, which I think is quite far off for me. So, and can I quest? Quest? Can I craft? Can you craft blood sets anyway? Yeah. Um, you can craft blood sets, can't you? Sorry, I have to keep consulting the wiki here. Um, it would have shown on the thing I was looking at then. Yeah, you can craft them in med station level 2 anyway. So I can, by making level 2, I can make more of these found in... Okay, cool. So we're safe. So I can do this if I just buy another saline. All right. Do I need saline found in raid for anything? Because I don't remember having found that many of them. Let's look this up. I'm doing this on the other screen, sorry. Um, saline solution. Three needed for med station two, four needed for med station three, but none are needed found in raid for anything. They're used in a couple of crafts. So, okay, cool. So I, I can uh, turn in the ones I've already got. Get that going. Oh, that's amazing. That's a huge load of progress there at level 15. Great. So that's building. Let's go and do a scav run and have a bit of fun and uh, we can sell whatever we get immediately. Oh, that's so good, so good. Because I'm like Mr. Scav Runner and making the money off the Scav Runs on the flea is... Let's sell some of these... Oh, no, I'll do that off stream, selling the injectors. Right, let's do a Scav Run. I need um, broken G-phones. So uh, I'm going to do the old trusty interchange. Okay, Jill, good night. Last day of work tomorrow. Oh, lucky you. Lucky you. Have a good one. Thank you so much for all the bits tonight and hanging out. Appreciate it. And thanks again for the Christmas present as well. That's really, really nice of you. Thank you. Have a good one tomorrow.
Right, I'm loading in to interchange, and we're looking for broken G phones. I need two of them for a quest for mechanic, I think. Um, do I need anything else? God, there's so much progress there. I need to like take stock after this and be like, okay, right, and draw up a whole new set of John's missions. It's amazing to get the flea there. And I'm so proud I managed to do that graphics card quest on my own. Technically, if 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 you uh, forget about the fact that someone basically uh, spared my life. <laughs> Jill doesn't live in America. We don't have guns here. She's not planning a. She's not planning on going in and um, shooting people. Hey, Sai. Yes, I made it. I made it. I uh, I spawned uh, right near Big Red by the filing cabinet hut. The uh, ooh, right win. Shit, what am I doing again? I'm a scav. Okay, 19 minutes left. I'm on auto. Have I got anything nice? I do. Uh, hotkey those things there. We've got a nice bag. Okay, this is this is could be good. I'll search these. Although the power's not on. I have to remember not to shoot scavs because I am a scav now. I am a scav. Uh, I'm going to check the f stuff in here first because that's the more valuable types. I'm going to shut the back door in case anyone comes in and gets me. Oh, I hope you sorted out the water company thing, Sai, mate. That didn't sound nice. I think someone's been here and got everything, but I bet they haven't done the filing cabinet, so um, hard drive. Nice. Nothing there. Okay, let's do the filing cabinets. You know, I love the filing cabinets. Search the filing cabinet, John. You'll have to take me around to Lighthouse Cyborg. I still haven't been. It's going to be a special occasion. Oh, you meant fiery. Sorry, quit the jobs. Sorry. <laughs> you see how, like, my... Uh, I'm not as switched on when I'm concentrating on Tarkoving. It's probably not worth turning the power on for people at this stage in the wipe as much because um, no one's got their key. Uh, right. Seeing as they've rinsed everything, they've probably done toolboxes as well, but. Now that I've got the flea, it doesn't matter so much, but I can sell tool set, yeah. Nuts. Nuts and bolts are always good because you uh, use them for crafting uh, grenade cases and scav cases and things, don't you? Which you can then sell. That's going to be my next mission is trying to rank up. So, do I go this way and hit the toolboxes or do I go that way? Let's stick around here. Maybe there'll be a dead scav for us to... Oh, let's have a look and see if they've done this um, hidden stash here. Hello 3G modem, by the way. I don't think I said hello earlier. Bloody hell, that's a good sign. Oh, some chocolate. I'm going to pick it up. And some shit ammo. If I go this way, it kind of half commits me to Emicom extract, which I just do not like. Because if you go to the railway extract, at least if you run into a PMC, they might do the co-op extract with you. Whereas if you go this way, a PMC is really not going to need you for anything. Boxeram sells for a bit to traders. Right, what's going to be the first to chuck if I get anything good here? Oh, that's amazing. You can craft the gas analyzers too. Because that was going to hold me up so much. It'll open up all of those. Um... Crap, crap. Mm, possibly good. Take that and I'll eat it. I'll eat it. Uh, check the stash here. I think I still might go for the railway extract. I just... 
feel like that's a more of a peaceful way out usually. <clears throat> Cigarettes, D battery, okay. Although Emicon's nearer, but it's just more treacherous. Then again, running across the front of the power station is a bit dangerous too. I never really look in here, but I feel like it's a sort of place where there might be something special. But no. Not today. Right, we're going to sort of scoot across and I'm going to try and hit my favourite cube. Does anything ever spawn in here? No. Should be saving a bit of salmon. Seminar? Stamina. <laughs> stamina, 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 stamina. Right. Very quiet. There's not even any scavs around and not any dead scavs. It's a bit weird. Oh, you can barter for the labs card with them. Oh, wicked. Yeah, because I've only just unlocked the flea. Like, I always like Poxarams because they were, they're always like a straight into the gamma for me because um, they're sort of 12k to therapists anyway. And like last wipe, they were sort of about... On the flea, they were about 15-ish. Um, but, oh gosh, if they're um, a barter for labs keys, that means um, maybe they've gone, gone up. It's going to be interesting to have a look after this. I think I saved... I don't know, we'll have to... I, I'm going to have to go through my scav boxes because I, I, I've just been running a lot of scav runs and hoarding loads of stuff knowing that I would sell it off or need it for dailies and things. So I'm pretty sure I've got some poxy rams in there. Right, there'll be an Ishkra. Yep, so I'll just eat this one. What's that? Oh, a Clint. Nice. That's some free money. Uh, let's drop them take that instead. Four inch rail. Do you reckon that's worth much? Probably worth more to me. What's this? Okay, well, that looks useful. Crew. Hello. I'm going to drop the pliers and take this instead. Who is that? Branston! Thank you for the gifted sub going to Empa. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you guys in the chat. It's nice to have some uh, some new crew, especially when I'm playing Tarkov. It's, it's good because I'm um, I'm used to having a lot more people when I do my music streams and stuff, and I sort of, I'm able to follow the chat a bit more when I'm doing the music, because I'm, I can sort of constantly be looking at the screen with the chat on, but um, when I'm on the Tarkov, I'm sort of, uh, I feel a lot more like a sort of, um, like hardworking, like proper streamer, as it should be. Um, but well, I do when I'm doing the music anyway, but I don't know. It's nice to like have some recognition as someone actually playing Tarkov, basically, even though I'm not very good. So thank you to the people that like Tarkov for coming and watching me play Tarkov. That means a lot. Even though I'm a bit shit, I am learning things and hopefully I can help anyone that knows less than me. But I can't help you with how to kill other people. I'm not very good at that, that's for sure. So on my nighttime scav runs, normally I'll give this one here Sometimes I've been going in that hut there to look for matches and things, but I don't care about that so much now. Obviously there's that stash there, but if I'm here, I won't go in to get it, especially when I'm full of stuff anyway. Yeah, absolute epic shout out to Cyborg as well, by the way. Um... You can shout yourself out, Cyborg, <laughs> or Miss Jackalope, if you'd like to shout him out. Um, Cyborg's my main duo's partner, basically, and the man who gets me through all the difficult quests and has saved my life countless times in Tarkov. Um, is this good? Remington Tactical Choke. The Remington Fuzz Away. Blows away the fuzz by shooting a shotgun in you. Um... How long have I played EFT? I think I got it in Jan 2020, because people have asked me this, and I swear I've played it longer, but I went through my emails for when I bought it, and it was like Jan or Feb 2020, which sounds about right. Um, 
this is my second full wipe, I think. Or third. Uh, I've never... The highest... I only got to, like, 38 last wipe. Um, I think I got above 40 the one before. And the one before that, I didn't really get very far from what I can remember. But it's my main interest outside music and everything. Like, I, when I wake up in the morning, like when I have my breakfast, I watch, you know, a YouTube guide video and stuff. Uh, you know, Pestily or Airwing Marine or, like, um, Giga Beef gun videos and things. And then I'll sort of hang out and put Twitch on and watch whoever's on in the morning. Like, lately I've been watching Piranha loads in the mornings. Um, while I'm just sort of doing my first bits of admin jobs on the laptop and stuff. Um, I've got to concentrate on not getting killed here. And then when I have my lunch, I watch like Hayes or Dan Exert or Piranha. Um, like <laughs> I don't watch normal TV. I just watch people playing Tarkov and trying to learn about it. So it is my main sort of interest outside my job. Although it's kind of my job now as well. So I don't know. I have a habit of doing that, turning my hobbies into a job. We made it out. Is that worthy of a celebrate? I suppose it is. We survived. Knives only. Right, I've just about recovered. Oh, we have to do something with all of this now. Ah, and my junk boxes are for... Ah, no, but I used uh, a lot of the space for all those hideout upgrades, so I think we should be good. No one wants to see me um, organising all my stash stuff, so I'll do this as fast as I can. What I'll do off stream is... Ah, yeah, we could... Ah, you know what? Let's, let's have a look at things that we can sell on the flea here and... Um, See, I'll oh, just I'll load this stuff the quick way. A Kedaranaklin. I've got so many backpacks now. This is great. And I kept on buying them, so that's cool too. Dun dun dun. Nicey, nicey. Oh, yeah, I love Toast Rack, yeah. I don't know if you were there, Cyborg, when um, Toast Rack jumped in on one of my music streams. Um, had a little chat and he was... Um, I, I hit him up afterwards because he was asking for some stuff to play when he was uh, standing in for Pestily on his subathon, which is really, really nice of him. Um... Right, so what do we do? Let's try and sell some stuff. So let's have a look. Let's see how much epoxy ram sells for. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Ah, let's have a look and see if I've got any more. And then I can sell them in a, a bunch. Let's do a sort. Oh, no. Uh, okay, give me a shout if you see any epoxy rams. No. Uh, don't see any there. Ah, I've got all these defuels as well dry fuels even. I'm going to look that up because if I don't need them for anything they'll be a, a big stonks and it'll be people that uh, dry fuel talk of. Um, yeah I listen to Techno Emper, Emper yeah. Um, I really like electro techno sort of the, the grimy raw stuff. Uh, Dave Clark being my absolute favourite DJ. Um, oh this is great. Okay so you need three of those dry fuels for the heating thing, but I don't need them for anything else that I really want. Oh, this is good. Okay, so we're gonna, the first thing we're going to do is sell those dry fuels for some big money. Going to make some big money. Um, right, let's put them all down here. They're like 40k each by the looks of it there. Although I don't want to price them too high because I've only got two slots to sell stuff at the moment. Um, any more in here? How much are power banks going for? Oh, not a lot at all. 
Oh, I've got another poxy ram there. Cool. Yeah, I've got a lot of sorting out to do here. Cool. All right, so we'll test this out then. 44. What do you reckon we can get away with? 58? Let's keep refreshing it and see. 47. He's selling 4 at 42. They went immediately. I'll put the uh, full screen on so you can see a bit better what I'm doing. So it's looking around 45. So to just get a quick sale. They'd probably sell late. But I can't risk that at the moment. So let's go for a 46, 666. Oh, ooh, that was almost very scary. Cool. And we've got two of these. Ah, see, they've gone down to 12 there, but... I think I might start paying for that website, um, the Patreon that get that unlocks you historical pricing on the Tarkov market thing. I think it'd be quite valuable at this stage. Okay, let's just get them out the door and do them for fourteen nine nine nine. Cool. Knife can go down in my knife holding thing. Uh, Clins, can we just sell them to somebody? Good, sell that. Uh, where was the other one? Did I have two? Am I being blind? Uh, I swear I had two. Or is it It was a scavy one? Oh, okay. Sell that. Um, so this one I will disassemble. And I'll sell what I can. Oh, good. Some new dailies have popped up. Maybe we can have a go at smashing a daily. Is that the only bit that came off it? That. And the other thing I can do off stream is I'll just cheese it with uh, Jaeger spending the money I need to um, to get him up to the right level. Ragman, let's just sell those glasses and that hat just to clear a little bit of space. Are people buying all the Yonka yet for decent money? No, not at all. I'll hang on to that till later because the price of that's going to go up once people start needing sugar for moonshine and things, right? Uh, oh, did stuff sell? Yes. The Poxyram sold. Oh, that's my first sale. The first of the stonks. The OMG, wow. Of the stonks. stonks. That's stonks. some big stonks. Oh, yeah. Stonks. Look at that loot. We're going to be rich. Praise Nikita. <laughs> Put all stonks, your for 100k, stonks. you're going to buy it. No, GG, no, no, no. <laughs> cheeky breaky. I'm <laughs> off to go slots. buy me something nice and shiny with all these rubles we be getting with these big stonks today. Well done, John B. Oh, I can start buying and selling again. Oh, this is beautiful. Um, right, let's have a look at what our dailies are then. So, Ragman only... Ah, oh no, it's just a new quest. Reach level 2 loyalty with Ragman. So, what do I need to do for that? I just need to get to 17. Okay, that's good. That's another milestone. Oh, things start unlocking here. This is great. Shaking up Teller. I don't get that yet. Hold on, I thought I got... Ah, I haven't spent enough money with Prapor either. Fifth kill 15 PMC. <laughs> never gonna happen never gonna happen kill 15 pmcs in a week it'll take me three months to do that <laughs> so what i just need to spend another hundred thousand with propor here so i can do that what shall we buy off propor that i would like um that i can just sell back to him or something or I buy a lot of headphones. Um, 100k. Buy some expensive things and you sell them back. Does he buy SKS's back? We're about to find out. Obviously, you have to wait for a minute, click around.
There we go. And there we go. Are we level two? Great. Okay. We're now level two. Um, ah, markers. Uh, oh, it's too late now. I did it, though. That didn't actually cost me too much. I bought three SKSs and then sold them back to him, and that was enough to get me over the line. So I'm just going to discover the new... Ah, great. I can get that. The um, This is really, really useful for putting sights on a lot of cheap crap guns. Oh, brilliant. oh, can I get the butt pad now? Yes, beautiful. Oh, yes, I'm going to buy one of them right now. Everybody loves a butt pad. I'm going to buy two. I'm going to stick them on those guns there. One of them's a scavy gun, though. That one's a good one, I think. Yeah, that one's a bit crap. So it's not getting a butt pad. And I think I've got... Oh, and the AKM. Oh, beautiful. Um, where is he? There's butt pad. Nice. We'll stick that on there. So they're sort of good to go. <laughs> My crappy scabby guns. What else has Prapor got for me? Bastions. That's a dust cover there that's useful. Uh, I should have been looking at what I was uncovering, shouldn't I? Oh, that's the what you be thingy. Shrimp, okay. A shovel, I don't know why I would need a shovel, but okay. All right, ah, and this is always out of stock. But the BT one isn't. The Tashonk of a BT, that's a good trade. I did that a fair bit. Nice. So what should we do next? Oh, I unlocked a new um, quest with him there. Obtain the valuable item in... 203 on customs. Have I got the 203 key? Oh man, today the stuff. Well, I've got Edge of Darkness, so the stash space is is big anyway. But I've been last few days. I've been struggling and like crawling to get to uh, the flea market so I can finally start buying some containers. Usually, what happens to me now is, um, well, I've been saving up all this stuff, so hopefully I can sell a lot of these things and get some cash up. And I'll just buy ammo boxes and mag cases to run across there so that that's dealt with. Um, and then can I buy items cases yet off Therapist or that's the next one up? I'd really like some docks cases, but I imagine how much are lions? A docks case would actually be amazing. Um, but I have a feeling... What? Uh, oh, come on. And horses. I know I need... I've got a lot of them, but they're found in raid. How many do you need for the docks case? I'm probably making a big mistake here. One lion, four horses, one cat. There's got to be a cat here. Something's expensive, right? We got a raid! Who raided us? Where? Venom! Thank you, Venom. Big up. Welcome to the channel. I'm just all overexcited because I just unlocked the flea and I'm like, oh, I can buy all these things. Really good. Really good. Um, I did a couple of woods runs just trying to do the killing people with no armor. Um, and uh, got a couple of scavs, which is what I needed to do. I'm now just about to buy Doc's case. This is a big moment. This is, this is a big boy thing. Um, and the really, really good thing that got me over the line, cat. Ooh, okay. Um, the really big thing was, uh, um, was I did the graphics card finding box quest for mechanic, and I managed to get that out alive. Uh, oh yes, we get a dog's case. Come on, come on, yeah, boy. Oh, I didn't do my stonks. OMG wow, stonks. That's so some big stonks. Oh yeah, look at that loot. We're gonna be rich. Praise Nikita. Stonks, stonks. GG, oh, cheeky breaky. Amazing. I'm off to go buy me something nice and shiny with all these rubles we be getting with these big stonks today. Well done John B. Yay! 
factory key. I suppose I'll take that. Uh, 105. Is That's a safe one, isn't it? I'm sure. Oh, I've got two 110 keys. All right, then. There we go. There's some money to be made. So let's give this quest a go. 203. Or may No, that's actually a better quest to do. Let's do another one of those woods ones where I'm trying to kill, kill scavs without armor on and uh, i'll take a ah and i can buy a shotgun which is a good way to level up our friend mr jaeger so i'll put those away i'll put away my trusty mp5 i'll take off my armor i quite like this quest because it's an excuse to um basically be a bit of a rat um so they're quite cheaper uh I want that one. Oh, I've got... Do I need them found in... I might need them found in red. Let's just take this. That did me fine. It's got eight rounds as well, which is better. Jack White looks like Willy Wonka, says it's not prognosis. I got one gas analyzer today, Prime Dark. I found it on a scav run in um, a power station on the shelves. And I was like... Aah! Uh, that was a huge, huge win. 110. Oh, they don't really sell for much. Let's see if I can get um, get that for it. Oh, it's so good to have the flea. I can sell things. Right, I'm going to look in my ammo box and take some ammo. Uh, right. I don't need the PST. So... So, I've got everything I really need for this. I don't need the director's office key anymore. I put that in my docs case for customs. Let's tag that as well. Um, what colour is customs? Let's say it's red. Um, so, we're going to woods. I'll just take the ZB key. And we're going to try and kill some more scavs, basically, and see if we can... Get a few more bits and bobs while we're at it. Sound like a plan? Sound like a plan? It's a plan. It's a plan. I think. Yeah, we're doing that. All right, let's go. Mods, can we get a shout out for Venom? I'm not sure if you did it already. Thank you for the... What were you doing in Tarkov today, Venom? Catching up on the chat. Oh, Prime Dark's hard at work while I'm hard at Tarky. <laughs> oh, thanks, Prime Dark. Thank you. Ah, it would probably help if I clicked ready to enter the raid, wouldn't it? Yeah. Pro streamer in the place. Thanks for the follow, uh, Super Enton and uh, Pigeons. Smash out of tasks. Hit level 30. Holy shit. I'm hoping, like, I, I feel like this is a really good hump here to get at 15. Um, and especially now I can craft gas analyzers because that's another quest I can hand in, basically, through not having to be good at the game. Um, and then there's quite a few more that open up. Um, I really want to get Peacekeeper. Is friend from the west? That's a skier one, isn't it? Um, yeah. Oh, oh. Wow, stonks! Ah, that's stonks some big stonk. Stop with the stonks. <laughs> um, getting peacekeeper set up is good because then you can push through all of the tagging, all the like tiger safari and all that, and I can handle them. I don't mind just rushing somewhere and uh, putting a marker on. And I quite like the ones where you just have to kill scavs with various things i'm looking forward to being able to do punisher and um at least this time i'll go with a bit better gear like i've always done the bare minimum on the punisher ones and just left myself open to to getting mashed by other players and things so um oh wow how much are marked keys going for now i haven't i i've been doing a lot of scav runs searching a lot of jackets and i i haven't found any marked keys for anywhere yet so i imagine they're quite expensive and I end up... I used to be terrified of dorms, and I guess I still am. But um, 
I've, a good strategy for me if I have the right spawn is I just go to two story early, sprint there, and just loot everything I can. And there'll be something I need, at, at least before 15, there's always something that I would need for the hideout in there. Um, so as long as I didn't go in with loads and loads of expensive gear. And sometimes you make it out alive and, you know, you can you can trade up a bit. Um, so that's been good to me, but I, I rarely go into three story. I think that's something where I might need some support. <laughs> Anything where I have to go and get something and escape alive with it. Uh, I usually need help. Right, this is the same spawn as we had before when I kind of got lost. Um, I'm a, oh, and I'm not a scav though, hang on. Yeah, this is important to realise. Same extract, okay. So, I'm going to try and get towards where outskirts is. It's important to put the bullets in my gun. Oh, so they're not even selling them for money. So the rivals' armbands. I've never really understood... Well, I mean, I understand it, but, like, it's not a reality for me, like, caring about armbands. I don't wear any armbands at all, because I, I figure it makes you slightly more visible. And I need to do everything I possibly can to try and increase my chances of survival. Right, okay. This is cool, that's a... So I've got my meds hot keyed. I need broken G phones found in raid. That's the only thing that's really important. So looting isn't hugely important. Okay, something nice. Bolts, great. UV lamp, cool. Hose, come on, get in me. Yes! I got holes. Oh, why can't I loot that? I don't know. It won't let me. I'm getting out of here. Good. That's useful to have a hose. I'm sure I need more hoses. I think until we work out how rare all the other armbands are, I was so lucky. One of the first things I got when I built the scav case last wipe, I got a rival's armband when I was desperate for a thick case. And, uh,. I traded it for a thick case, basically. I was like, yes. But now you can't flip in... Sell thick cases on the flea, so... That's going to be interesting on um, the barter. It's going to affect the price of all the things for the thick case barter trades, right? Is there, are there? There are. Yeah. Is it all the moon shines and stuff? Oh, dear. RIP person that stepped on the mine. Yeah, that was... And I was really close to reaching the level where I'd be able to get one for that quest. Anyway. And I only got that because somebody... I think I was playing with Walker and Philbo and crew. And um, somebody found uh, an ophthalmoscope in the same raid I was in. Let me take it. So I got I got my two thick cases nice and early, really. It was a huge, huge lifesaver for me. Right, um, John, you are not a scav. You are a player. You would like to kill scavs. Remember that. Yeah, the barter's going to be mad. I, I'll have to look up what is required for the barter and really stock up on them. Should be a good money maker, though. Right, hopefully I'm not in a landmine area. This doesn't feel... Oh, I'm going sort of south. Ah, yes, okay, I know where I am now, good. Yes, that's the road I want to go on. So my plan is to really just try and I'll 
I'll try and hit that stash where I died last time. And then I'll see if there's any random scavs running around by the little defiling cabinet shack. Or around... Yeah, maybe I'll just try and go to ZB. And scav house and maybe I'll be able to pick off a couple of scavs. Have I got the right things in there? Yeah, probably. Also important. Oh, hold on. Oh, this is bringing me down to... Oh shit, this is good for killing scavs, but also certain death. Okay. We came away I wasn't thinking, but this is good to know. There will be scavs here. Hopefully Sturman's not here, because that'll be the end of the raid. Shall I risk it and try and hit up the um the wooden huts? I haven't heard any shots from around here yet, so... If somebody's trying to get Sturman, though, they'll get me. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! That's Sturman. Okay, I'm in trouble now. Okay, uh, run. Okay. Sturman's the scav boss of woods, and he's got an SVD. And he's very accurate. So I need to not go anywhere near there because I'll just die. But good thing is now people that want to get him know he's there. So I'm going to go around and try to get to the little cabin around here, I think. Yeah, okay. Killed Sherman once before I even knew who he was. Like super lucky, I just ran at him when I had a kedo or something, and somehow got him. Right, let's play this carefully. Isn't there a duffel bag here? Somewhere? Right. I oh, kind of want to get to this hut. If there's a scav, hopefully kill him and not be killed. Am I going the right way for the hut? Totally... Yeah, there it is. So sometimes there's scavs milling around here, but I haven't got much cover. And I've got no armour, so I can't really make a run for it. Is that one there? No, it's a bit of a tree. Someone's already been here because that thing's open. Do they like filing cabinets as much as me, though? That is the question. Out of body. I'll see you, Venom. Have a good night. Thanks for the raid. Thanks for stopping by. BP, that's quite good, isn't it? What's BP better than a grenade? Probably. Come on, filing cabinet. Show me what you got. Search the filing cabinet. Search it.
filing cabinet did not provide. <laughs> right. What's the play now? Go for Mark Circle. Hopefully no scabs have spawned in while I was prattling around there. Okay, we're gonna go for Mark Circle. If I can find my way there. Mm. Not really very stonks today. I'll take what I can get. A respirator. All right. If that counts, uh, let's pick that up for the XP. Oh. Okay. That's a scav. But I can't see him because of the trees. So. I think there's two. Killed by somebody over there, so I'm gonna run. <laughs> okay, new plan get to uh, attachment shack. There's always scavs around here, so I've got to be careful. been here. Oh, they left me some goodies. What the fuck is that? Okay, let's have a look here then. Oh, it's one of those things. Okay, UV lamp can come out. Uh, they can come out. That Alpha 9, a suppressor. Oh, that's probably worth good money. And should we take the bolts and that out? What about that? Mods, tactical scope. Let's drink this while we decide. It was big, it looked complicated and expensive. I think I'm going to take the Nah, the bolts quite often can sell for like 50k, so should I take the bolts and the BP out and put this scope in? Because even if I die, I can sell that to traders for more, but I don't really need the money. The bolts would be more useful, but I can buy them off the flea anyway, but... Um... Let's stick the scope in. I'm going to run and check the treasure scav if I make it that far. place to um, catch your breath before the final push to extract as well. Uh, 
SP6. That's quite good, isn't it? Oh, power cord. They're useful if you get them out because you can make wires with them. But again, I can just buy them, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. Right. This is where we're running to extract. the mines, please. Hopefully there's nobody camping uh, extra with a sniper getting ready to get me. I need to get the old uh, heart rate monitor thing on. Uh, Schnitzel Herbert, thank you for the follow. I think I missed that earlier. There. Oh, God, more loot, more loot. There's so much. Right, I'm going to sell those, I know. I'm going to put them back in there for the next raid. We'll keep them as well. Those can go there. Those can go there. We'll keep that. We can see how much these scopes are all worth. I don't think I need tool sets for anything anymore, do I? Oh, tomorrow I'm going to have a nice relaxing morning selling all my junk. All my um, scav junk boxy stuff. Right, we're through. We're through. Right, so the, the light coloured scope. Oh! <laughs> Ooh, they're going for 38 well they're listed for 38 and unsold so let's see okay that might be a bit risky 27 that suppressor for 21 that sounds about right it's a 9 by 19 so that's probably only does it fit a vector or something tool sets how much do they go for Ooh, all right really wow it's sold okay let's sell uh i think i've got a few tool sets let's just check oh no i think i need them for hideout upgrades oh well let's just sell this one anyway so that at least we can have made a nice bit of profit on that run oh this is amazing god just making forty-two thousand rubles out of a uh, one raid is like a whole shift in reality uh from what life's been like for the first two weeks of the wipe. Um, hmm. 36. That went. Okay, so the 36 one sold. Shit, okay, so we could get it, we could sell it for say 38. Alright, that was that's good to know. Well, how much would that have sold to for vendors? 36,000 to vendors, that one. That was a good call putting that in the um secure container, and that sells for 20, and that sells for 23. Okay. Well, I want to get my um, flea market rating up, so uh, I'm going to sell as much of the stuff as I can. Although I think it takes a lot longer to unlock more um, more slots now, which is a shame, because uh, I really rushed that last time and it was really helpful. Um, so, okay, so flea market, I've got two items up now. The tool set and that. Okay, so hopefully they go. Someone bought my key. Great. Oh, this is beautiful. Um, 
Right, I'm going to run to the bathroom and I think we'll do another scav run uh, to see if I can get these G-phones. So give me a minute, I'll leave you with the stash. Right, we're back. DJ Blaze. Thank you for the follow, DJ Blaze. So we didn't get any uh, scavs on that one. Um, oh, I think something sold while we were out. Yeah. Wicked have got 37,000 for that um, thing. Let's sell... This one then. The March Tactical Scope. I'm not going to risk it. I'm just anything I list, I'm going to put on low. Let's do another scav run. Get some progress. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, he's got an azimut rig as well. Beautiful. So, do we reckon interchange is good? Hundred and fifty million sold. Is that how much it is now for the third slot? Yeah, because they. Ch I, Airwing Marines did a video that I watched about. Um, if it's a hundred, got hundred and fifty million rubles worth of sales. Holy shit! It's a. It's a. And you need 30, level 30, really? Oh, God. It's a clever way to limit the flea, though. I see why they've done it. Like, you know, there's there's all the, there's a lot of people that complain about the flea and say they wish there wasn't one. I'm not one of those guys. I need it. I love it. Um, but I do understand that, like, you know, people exploit it and it's something that needs to be balanced a bit. And they, they always do a, a... It's good to see them sort of doing stuff and probably studying how it affects things um it's gonna slow me down a bit if i accidentally list things um too high but as long as you're s i think it keeps prices lower really won't it because people be too scared to list things it'll probably take care of inflation a bit hmm right so what are we doing scav run interchange i'm looking for broken uh G phones in raid found in raid. However, I can now craft them in the workbench. I could craft them before, but I didn't have the ingredients. But at least I can buy like the ingredients on the flea now, which will be good. And I'm not so desperate to like get get XP now that I've got the flea. Um, although I will be, I'm going to be desperate to get to level twenty to get mechanic two because that's going to affect me a lot. I think. Um, so I think that's my next, and that's quite a long way because every, with every every one you get, like it's a, a bigger gap to get to the next level, isn't it? Um, so it could start getting harder. I just I need a lot of easy quests where I just got to hand in things I've already got or uh, go and mark stuff. Oh, this is quite a long matching time for a scav run. I'm normally getting a bit faster than this. So you need level 30 rep and you need to have sold 150 millions worth of stuff. Because it's what? Is it like level? You have to get to a rep of... Oh, sorry, you need 30 rep. I thought you were, I thought you were saying you need to be level 30. I'd, yeah. Yeah, level 30 rep's quite... 
quite far. Oh, I can do gunsmith now. Yes, wild camper. Yeah, I've done one and two, but I couldn't do three because of I didn't have access to the um, the, the fifty round mag or whatever. Um, I may wait for that because to I'll see how desperate I am for XP and everything. But I, th I think. Um, the the 50 rounder that you need for it is like it's like 200k or something isn't it on the flea at the moment because it's limiting everyone but all the rest of the parts i could get i'll have a, i'll have a look at that that's a good one to check out but um it's one of those ones where like the 200k may be better spent on a, an ammo crate or something this is a long um loading time for interchange how far are you, Wild Camper? Are you not playing this wipe? Cool. Yeah. I, <laughs> I'm busy with work too, but I, uh, well, Mondays and Tuesdays, I, especially early wipe, I just, I'm like, come on, man, just give yourself a bit of time off to play. Um, but once we hit, uh, like Wednesday, I'm just flat out because I've got the streams, the, the music streams, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. Um, Yeah, it, once you get sucked in, yeah, I'm I'm living proof of that. You get sucked in, it it, it consumes you, doesn't it? This is a bit of a long um, loading time here. I might have to back out of this. It seems a bit weird. Five minutes. Okay, I'm impatient. Will I still count as uh, if I control alt delete it or something? 300 trees to plant tomorrow. Wow. What kind? All right, I'm going to I'm going to all F4 here. All right. Is that part of like a conservation project thing or offsetting somebody's carbon? <laughs> Bedtime for the DJ tracksuit. Up for 26. Fuck me. How would you manage that? I'd be dead if I stayed awake that long. Thanks for hanging out, tracksuit. Thank you. I'm going to finish soon anyway, I think. I'm going to try and get into this scav run, and if it won't let me, um, then I might call it, because uh, I normally would be... I should be in bed now as well. Um, but I'm excited about my flea market. Oh, good for you, man, planting the, all the, the trees. You started a woodland. Holy shit, that's amazing. Character's still in raid. Ooh, all right. I'm actually in a raid. Let's see. You, you're in the UK, right, Wild Camper? I'm, I'm, I'm correct in that assumption. Oh, that's cool. There's a guy I went to university with, um... Doug King Smith, who uh, is involved in some amazing conservation type thing. Um, I think it's down sort of Cornwall, not in Cornwall, but down that part of the world. And um, big community group, woodland, like built a big um, uh, wooden, um, uh, what are they called? Bigger than a shed thing where you keep horses stable kind of thing except they don't keep horses in it i don't know and they do all like woodworking um classes for people and um a waiting session start uh, let me in i imagine that's really really cool i love watching um ta outdoors on uh youtube and those guys that like quietly build barn 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 thank you sir twitch a lot thank you <laughs> yes building a barn <laughs> i'd like bigger than a shed please um 
with wood. Who's the guy? Um, the guy in Seattle. I, I used to watch loads of his stuff. It was so ambient. Um, there was this man that uh, used to work in the city or something, and then he uh, he's got a. It's one of the biggest YouTube channels of those guys that build um, log cabins off 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 um, off grid. My something something life, I think. Oh bollocks! Oh no! Here we go. Uh, you can tell I've been playing Tarkov too long because I can't remember things. Oh, why can't I load in? It's not fair. What's the guy? Hang on, I'm gonna I'm gonna look this up and find the link. Um, My self reliance, that guy. My self reliance. If you want something ambient to put on, it's just a man quietly building a nice log cabin in the snow somewhere in like Washington State with his dog. Uh, I love that one. My self reliance, that guy. And, um,. Yeah, he's so cool. He's so cool. And he had some real, like, hassle by the sounds of it with, like, people that had the land nearby and all that. I really like TA Outdoors as well. He's the UK guy. And I think he does his stuff around about here, somewhere in Berkshire, like woods in Reddingish, somewhere around there. When we're on the M4, I'm like, oh, I think TA Outdoors is probably in there with his pallet wood cabin, hut, shack, barn. <laughs> Ah, this is a bummer. It's not letting me in. The server must be having a, a, an issue. Oh, I can back out, though. Okay, cool. We can try again. Hello, Pagan. Hello, Pagan. How are you doing? I'm playing Escape from Tarkov. Well, I've been trying to get into a game for the last five minutes, and that server didn't seem to like it, so uh, I'm going to have another bash. <laughs> Hold your fire. Just wait a bit more until you can uh, enter the uh, raid, please. Oh, I hope I don't lose that scav because he had. Uh, I'd love to use that shotgun on woods, except it's probably got really shit accuracy because it's a scavy gun. Oh, mate. Uh, I don't have a P.O. Box anymore, Wild Camper. Uh, I stopped paying for it because it was about 300 quid a year and all I ever got were, like, really weird CD demos from, like, people that shouldn't be sending demos. They were a bit mad and stuff. So uh, I kind of I stopped paying for it because it was too expensive and it, it wasn't really helpful. But it means I can't have... A, I don't have, a, like, a sort of normal... I might start paying for it again, actually. Um... So people can send me nice carvings and things. Um, yeah. Ah, uh, this is a bummer, this. It's not letting me in the raid. Um, I think I might call it for tonight. Um, so I've been playing... Two, done two and a half hours here. So... Um, I think I'll call it a night. Um... So I'm going to, I'll see you all tomorrow. I'm going to be playing, uh, doing the beach bar set and uh, playing liquid drummer bass tomorrow night, 8 p.m. UK time start. Uh, I'll be on Christmas Eve as well on Friday playing music. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's been good. We got, I was, I'm going to watch back and see how excited I was at uh, um, that stuff. It's great that you were with me when I, I crossed the line to level 15. So, um, cool. I'm going to hit the ending, but I'm going to send you to Piranha because he's an absolute legend. So, uh, have some fun with Piranha. I am still doing Jungle Fire. I just haven't made any in ages, Beeble Brox. Um, I'll make some in the new year, though. I just, I, I, because with streaming now as an extra thing in my life, I just don't have as much time and uh, it's mad. Um, but I do, int I haven't stopped doing it. I just kind of haven't had time lately. So, so I will be. So, um, 
I am, yes, I am the John B, the drum and bass guy. I also happen to be a Tarkov guy. I'm a bit of both now, aren't I? <laughs> Um, yeah, I've got to go, uh, Sir Twitch a lot. So big up, big up everybody that's hung out with me. I feel quite honoured that we've got seventy people here that's been watching me play Tarkov. It's it's mad. Um, it's really really great, and it's nice to hang out and chat to you a bit more calmly than I can when I'm doing the music stuff. So um, large ups, and I'll see you uh, tomorrow night. And thank you, Miss Jackalope, for hanging around. Big up Prime Dark if you're still there. Peace out. See you all later.